I find it really amazing to see what other people are reading, get inspired from that and discover some good books and get those mini reviews in minimum amount of time. If you also think that it is a great idea, then this video, which is a wrap up video, where I'm going to tell you about the books that I read last month, is a good pick for you. Hi guys, I'm Manpreet. I make book related videos on this channel. If you like books, make sure you subscribe to my channel, turn your notifications on, and follow me on my social media so that you get notified every time I post a new video. Without wasting any time, I'm going to share my seven mini reviews because that's the amount of books that I read last month. Number one book that I finally finished finished reading is The Subtle Art of Not Giving an F by Mark Benson. I kind of started it like months ago and I am sad to say that I find it very overhyped and I did not like this book much. It doesn't have any new concept honestly. It has all the old concepts which you may have read in other self-help books but the author really makes it a point to tell you that all other self-help gurus are stupid and his book is the only one that actually makes a difference which is like something that pissed me off but keeping that as Side, the content of the book is not that amazing according to me. All the normal things which you would find in any other self-help book like this have been listed in this one as well but with a lot of abusive language. I do not have a problem with abusive language but I do have a problem with this book. I just did not like it. I would not recommend this to anybody. I feel like it's overhyped. Gave it like 3 out of 5 stars. Just don't read it if you don't have to. Next, I picked up a book from Kindle Unlimited which was Speed Reading by Justin Hammond. It was a very short book which claimed to teach me how to improve my reading speed in like about 1 hour. But again, this book was a disappointment. Like I would give this book 1 out of 5 stars. It was so bad. It had like all the things which you would find in one YouTube video. And obviously, Obviously, it takes more time to read a book and you get nothing out of it. Honestly, this author takes the art of repeating things in a self-help book to a whole another level. It's just like too bad to not read it. Next, I picked up a fiction which is Keepers of the Kal Chakra by Ashwin Sanghi. Now, this book was gifted to me by Westland. It's a combination of science fiction, mythology, history, politics and all of that combined into a thriller and I really liked it. It was my first fiction by Ashwin Sanghi who is a very popular author of the country and I liked this book. It was an entertaining read. I flew through the book. I do have some problems with this book but I'll discuss them in my review video. Basically, if you're looking for a light entertaining read and if you're like Ashwin Sanghi, books are good and I have to read them should I read this one yes definitely next I read Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets by JK Rowling it was definitely a reread and I really enjoyed this book honestly a lot of people talk about how in a series second book certainly suffers a bit and after reading this book for the second time I get why people say that this book does get slow and you know stretches a bit but otherwise it's Harry Potter guys I love Harry Potter series next I read a crime crime novel which was gifted to me by Harper Collins and this is 11th hour by S. Hussein Zaidi. It's all over my Instagram because it was like I got this book on Saturday and then next day I was like let's flip to one page of the book and then I could not stop reading. It's again a very entertaining read. It's a classic plot of governmental agencies trying to catch some terrorists so not something like wow I have never thought of a plot like that but it is entertaining so you will like reading it if you are looking for a very nice entertaining light read for the weekend next two books that i read are again from kindle unlimited number one is tales and legends from india by ruskin bond now it's a collection of short stories and the stories have been taken from the legends or the folklore which are very popular in india and i really liked it some of them have been taken from mahabharat some of them from normal legends and folklore in south india and i really enjoyed reading this book some of the stories were the ones which i have already read before reading them all over again was a very pleasant experience it's more of a children's book so if you know any kids in your household who like to read or who should be reading books then you can gift them this book or you can read these uh, stories yourself as well because everybody loves children's genre. Lastly I read a very short book once again which is 50 great life and business lessons from Steve Jobs by George Elian. I again bought it for free on Kindle Unlimited and this was also a very fulfilling read honestly when I talk about very short reads I kind of tend to not like them many a times that sentence was very complicated but
but this book was something which i really liked i was surprised because it was written really well not a single line was wasted it was not short just because the author did not have more content or it was not long just to be long it was just enough to give you a glimpse into the life of Steve Jobs and tell you about some lessons that you can learn from it. Yes, guys, these are my mini reviews of the seven books that I read last month. It was certainly lesser than what I read last to last month, but I'm very happy with my reading. I read some thick books. This one took a lot of time and even this one. I obviously enjoyed reading these books and I'm very excited to know about what you read last month. So don't leave this video without leaving a comment about what you read last month. Even if it's a one book, I am proud of you. So just let me know what you read and I'll be waiting for your comments down below. Thank you so much for watching this video. This is Manpi signing off. I'll be back with another video very soon.